Okay, class. So, let's see one more example here. Let's say you have matrix A. 3 times 3 matrix A. Okay, now I have find a few element for minor matrix A. Okay, but you have 3 element missing here. So, let's find out what is the missing element first. Okay, so you have M what? M what? Here. M... What is the row here? Is the second row. What is the column here? Is the second column. So M22. Then we missing the element here which is M. What is the number of row? Number of row is 3. What is the column number? 1. M31. And we also missing the third element here which is M33. The third row and the third column. Okay, so now before we move to cofactor matrix, let's find what is the missing element. So you need to find what is the minor 2, 2. The element of minor matrix is 2, 2. So what is the meaning of M2, 2? You need to delete the row number 2, column number 2. So let's delete the row number 2 here, column number 2 here. Therefore, to find what is M2, 2, we need to find the determinant of 2, negative 3, 0, and 1. So 2 times with 1. Minus with 0 times with negative 3. So, it will be 2 minus 0. So, it will be equal to 2. Therefore, M22 here is actually equal to 2. So, M22. So, now we want to find what is M31. Okay. So, what is the meaning of M31? How to find M31? You need to delete row number 3, column number 1. Okay. Therefore, let's delete row number three column number one is here therefore to find what is m31 you need to find determinant of negative one three zero negative one okay negative one you time with negative one minus with zero times with three you will get one minus zero is equal to one okay therefore m31 here is one And then the last one is M33. Okay, so you want to find what is the element for M33. Okay, where how to find M33? We need to delete the row number 3, column number 3. Okay, let's delete row number 3 and column number 3 here. So you need to find the determinant of 2, 1, negative 1 and 3. Okay, so this one times with this one, you will have 2 times with 3 minus with negative 1 times with 1. So you have 6 minus with negative 1 which is 6 plus 1 equal to 7. So M33 is equal to 7. Okay, therefore now you already have the minor matrix. Okay, so next we want to find what is the cofactor matrix. So... I said to you before, cofactor matrix is just a minor matrix incorporated with some sign, okay? Where the sign will start with positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. So let's incorporate this both of these matrix. Positive and positive will give you positive three. Negative and negative two will give you positive two. Negative, negative is positive, right? Positive and positive will be positive 9. Negative and negative will be positive 1. Positive and positive will be positive 2. Negative and negative will be positive 3. Okay. This will be positive 3 because negative and negative is positive. Positive and positive will be positive. Negative and negative will be positive. Positive and positive will be positive okay so here is the cofactor matrix so now you already know how to find the cofactor matrix we move to what is adjoint matrix okay so adjoint matrix of matrix a can be found where adjoint matrix is actually a cofactor matrix transpose means to find the adjoint matrix of matrix a you need to transpose the cofactor matrix what is transpose you change the position of row into column so now if this one 
is row 1, it will be in column 1, 3, 2, 9. The one in row number 2, you will change it into column number 2. So you have 1, 2, 3. This one is in col uh, row number 3. You will change it into column number 3, which is 1, 2, 7. So this one is a cofactor matrix. Transpose, this one is the adjoint matrix of matrix A. Okay, so let's continue how to find the inverse matrix by using adjoint matrix. Just now we have seen that adjoint matrix actually, okay, adjoint matrix of matrix A, this one is the symbol of adjoint matrix of matrix A, is actually the cofactor matrix transpose. Okay, so now we already have, I already find the minor matrix of matrix A. So what is the core factor matrix of matrix A? It's just incorporate the symbol with the minor matrix. Okay, so here you have the symbol will be positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. So positive and positive will give you positive 2. Negative and positive 2 will give you negative 2. Positive and positive 2 will give you positive 2. Negative and negative 2 will give you positive 2. Positive and positive 3 will give you positive 3. Negative and positive 3 will give you negative 3. Positive 0 will give you 0. Negative and negative 10 will give you positive 10. And this one will give you 0. So this one is the core factor matrix. Okay, so how to find the adjoint matrix of matrix A? We already learned that adjoint matrix is actually the cofactor matrix transpose. So what is the transpose matrix? You need to change the row into column. Here is row number one. Okay, so row number one will be the row, the column number one in adjoint matrix. Therefore, you have your adjoint matrix. Column number one will be two negative 2 2 then the row number 2 here will become the column number 2 okay so you need to take the first element start with the first element then the second element and then the third element okay and the row number 3 will be the column number 3 so you have 0 10 and 0 so this one is the adjoint matrix where adjoint matrix is the cofactor matrix transpose. Okay, so now we want to find the inverse matrix by using adjoint matrix. So let's come back to the slide. Okay, so let's come back to the slide. Here you see the adjoint matrix is actually a cofactor matrix transpose. Okay, so you can find the cofactor matrix. Okay, so now we want to find the inverse matrix by using adjoint matrix. So how to find the inverse matrix by using adjoint matrix? Here is the formula. Okay, to find the inverse of matrix A, you need to divide the adjoint matrix with the determinant of matrix A. Okay, you need to divide the adjoint matrix with the determinant of matrix A. Okay, so let's see example. You see here, you already find the adjoint matrix of matrix A. So for you to find the inverse matrix, you are dividing your adjoint matrix with the determinant of matrix A. So before this, before this class, you have learned on how to find the determinant of matrix A. Okay, so for this case, for this case, I, I already find, I already calculate the determinant of matrix A is equal to 10. So please find out. How did I get the determinant of matrix A is equal to 10? So let's please try to find the determinant of matrix A and show it is equal to 10. Okay, so to find the inverse matrix of matrix A, I need to divide the adjoint matrix A with 
its determinant Okay So sekarang kita ada adjoint matrix A Iaitu 2, negatif 2, 2 2, 3, negatif 3 Kosong, 10, kosong So awak bahagi semua sekali dengan determinant determinan dia 10 Macam mana nak bahagi? Okay Caranya adalah setiap elemen ini awak bahagikan dengan 10 Okay, setiap elemen awak bahagikan dengan 10 So, awak akan dapat inverse of matrix A is equal to 2 over 10 is equal to 1 over 5 2 over 10 is equal to 1 over 5 0 over 10 is equal to 0. Negative 2 over 10 will be negative 1 over 5. 3 over 10 will be 3 over 10. 10 over 10 will be 1. 2 over 10 will be 1 over 5. Negative 3 over 10 will be negative 3 over 10. And the last one, 0 divided by 10 will give you 0. So this one is the inverse matrix of matrix A. Okay, now you can check whether this is the correct inverse matrix of matrix A or not. Okay, so how to check whether this one is the correct matrix? Before this, we have learned if the matrix A times with its inverse matrix, you will get the identity matrix. Okay, so to check whether this one is the correct one or not, you just need to multiply this inverse matrix by matrix A and see whether you will get the identity matrix or not. Okay, let's say we have matrix A here. Okay, you have matrix A here. So this one is your matrix A. And we multiply our matrix A with its inverse matrix. So this one is the inverse matrix. So we multiply with inverse matrix. Okay, so we multiply both of these. So how to multiply the matrix? You need to multiply the first row with the first column. Okay, so you will try to multiply. 3, uh, you will try to multiply. Okay. Let me do this. 3 times 1 over 5 is 3 over 5. Plus with 2 over 5 is 5 over 5. This one is 1. Then the first row times with the second column. So you will get 3 over 5. Uh, minus with 6. Uh, 3 over 5 minus with 3 over 5 will give you 0. Then times with the third column you will get 0 here as well. So next is the second row. Okay, you minus with the first you times with the first column, so you will get two. You will get two times one over five is two over five. This one is zero. Two over five minus with two over five is zero. Okay, then the row two times with the second row here so 2 over 5 this one is 0 2 over 5 plus with 3 over 5 is 5 over 5 5 over 5 is 1 okay then you have here 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0 okay then we multiply the third row with the first column here so you have 0, this here, here he is negative 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5 is 0. Then the third row with the second column here. So 0, this one is 3 over 10 minus 3 over 10 is 0. Then you multiply the third row with the uh, third column here. So 0 plus 1 is 1 plus 0 is 1. So you see, you get the identity matrix means that this one is the correct inverse matrix of matrix A.